Tonight on Inner Space. It is, to date, the biggest Sanctuary episode ever shot. Robin Dunn dishes on the scope of Sanctuary's latest offering. Welcome to Inner Space, everyone. Was that not an amazing episode of Sanctuary? It was like a historical mini-movie. It was. It was action-packed, cinematic, and a great one to watch even if you're new to the series. The this cast and crew were really proud of this episode, and rightfully so. We're going to hear details from actor Robin Dunn and series creator Damian Kindler on what it was like shooting this story and why there's actually more than meets the eye here. But first up, with so much happening in this episode of Sanctuary, there was one moment in particular that both shocked and awed. Here it is. Both. Who the hell are you blokes? Americans. Hey, Cap! Got a naked limey over here. Well, don't that be at all. Get the man a coat or something, Sergeant. Yeah, you got it. You look like you need some help, friend. Captain Jack Zimmerman, Fox Company, 101st Airborne. This country just got invaded. <laughs> Jack Zimmerman. I want to go into the history in a second, but I love this. We met Will, Will Zimmerman's grandpappy. It's a third Captain Jack, if you think about it. You got oh, Captain yeah. Jack Sparrow, Captain Jack from Torchwood. Darkness, and this, yeah. Now we got Captain Jack Zimmerman. It's all about the Captain Jacks. Well, obviously, he had already given birth to Will's dad at that point. I think his wife probably gave birth to Will's dad. Right, well, you know, you never know a sanctuary. <laughs> Medical true. miracles, abnormals <laughs> abound. Here's the thing, though. I th thought it was really sad that he died in the end, but obviously, yeah. this is the lineage of Zimmerman, which I love. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go into the history of the five in a second, but I love the other history in this episode. That oh, yeah. Druid had killed Hitler. Hitler was a big Wagner fan. The whole... He claimed to have seen Tristan and Isolde like 30 times. So they get their history right, and I love that. And, you know, tying... Except it, it, Hitler wasn't assassinated. But, well, yeah. exactly. But, uh, yeah, tying everything in there. And it's so funny, in my notes through the episode, I was like, this is a fantastic episode. They just got to figure out a way of working, you know, Will, Kate, and Henry in there, and yeah. Biggie somehow. And then the next scene, he walks out. I'm like, oh, weird. That, that worked out so perfectly. I and, feel like we don't have a lot to debate here, because I really liked it, and I hope they go back to this, because listen, we don't know if Magnus knew that that was a Zimmerman. Captain mm. Jack said it to Nigel, so maybe Nigel told Helen. We don't know. Maybe we'll find that out in a future episode. Hopefully we do, but regardless, yeah. this was one of our favorite episodes so far, and it was also a favorite for Robin Dunn, who told us why. It is, to date, the biggest Sanctuary episode ever shot in scope, in budget. I think it broke all the budgets. Um, but a very, very cool episode to, to shoot. We really get a peek into the Magnus's history, um, the, the history of the five, uh, and their impact on world events, uh, world history, how they changed the course of world history. You really think Command will turn back the Armada? Well, if they're smart, they will. I think it was my favorite episode of the season, just shooting that episode, was what, what a blast um, just you know, being there and, and uh, doing such a different thing. Well, it was a very different episode of Sanctuary than oh, we're yeah. used to, obviously, exploring a, a whole lot of different things, including the history of the five, which we don't get so much out of. It would have been cool if Bigfoot showed up at one point, eh? Oh, that would have been excellent. And when we met Will's in. grandpappy, I, I thought to myself, maybe we'll see Henry's granddad, too, and it'll be like a Actually, reunion of when the when grandfathers. The, when the other soldier showed up, I thought, does that sound like Henry? No, that wouldn't make sense because <laughs> be he's a half, and they'd have to explain a whole lot more. Yeah. So I'm glad that they kept it, you know sort of straightforward here. But the one thing I want to point out is that, you know, this is a very different episode, but somewhat similar to, you know, history repeating, I should say. Uh, Tesla wasn't involved in the majority of the action. He was, you know, <laughs> off yeah. uh, at the base in Portsmouth, which is where, of course, my Gampy was actually stationed during World War II. So Gampy? It's like my grandfather, but my father's father, Gampy. Oh, it's just a cute little name? Yeah, that's what I call him, Gampy and Gammy. I like it. Okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> So what would have happened if Tesla had been involved and there in part of the action? I know there would be a lot more ribbing between he and Nigel, which would have been a lot of fun. Yeah, well, I don't know if it would have changed the course of history because ultimately the D-Day raid was successful, but mm. it is always interesting to see him like apoplectic with all this power wanting to get him involved yeah. with it. I love the window into the five. I love any time we go back to the five because it reminds me of Alan Moore's, you know, great graphic novel and comic series, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, of which is an influence on Damian Kindler and Amanda and the creators of Sanctuary. So I, I love it when we get this thing. Well, what did you think of Druitt throughout this episode? Because at first I was like, man, I forgot how menacing this character is. He's a mass murderer. I mean, by I forget the end, that. Yeah, yeah, by the end he kind of redeemed himself, but in a cold, terrible way by killing that he, he did what had to be done, though. Yeah. I mean, even though at the beginning of the episode, there it is with the tank, they were shooting around. You know, mm -hmm. they, they weren't, like, killing people outright, and they, do, they did have to rely on Druid to do that. And without him, 
history could have gone a different way. So it was, this is very true. Uh, you know, as much as he's Jack, Jack the Ripper, we have to thank him in this case. We do. Well, this episode did seem to wrap up nicely at the end, but Damian Kindler told us there's actually more behind this episode than you might think. It was a bit of an interesting choice because you can accept an episode like Normandy at face value. They were there, they were, you know, these characters, and it, you understand the situation and you're pulled into it. But, you know, one of the things we often have to ask ourselves is, why are we telling the story? For what reason? And I really like the idea that you go, wow, that was cool, and I guess that was a one-off about World War II. Then the next week you tune in, and you see the previously on showing you the, the highlights of Normandy, and then boom, there's a problem in, Norm in, in, in that part of France today. And I was very taken with that idea, and I think the writers were as well, that we could build a town and use it in the past and then use it again in the present in a more sci-fi way and link these two stories so that there was a reason we, we told the classic World War II story because there's a problem now. I love it. This episode was to provide backstory for the yeah. next new one, which we're going to see two weeks from now because of Memorial Day in the States. And that next episode is called Karen Tan, the town that the Nazi bunker was in. So mm -hmm. this is great. This is long form storytelling. I'm in. I'm hoping that the plot is the fire elemental escapes and they've got to track it down and it's come back up from put the it earth. back into the earth somehow. Cool. Well, if that theory is right, you're going to be hard to deal with for a while. I gloating. will gloat and take credit for that for years to come. Uh, now let's get to some of your comments that you dramatic. posted online after seeing this episode. Lauren said, I'm glad we are getting to see more of Griffin and his personality, also his contribution to the five. This is very true. This is the first time that we saw Griffin really out in action with everyone else. Uh, it was fun. And of course, he's a very recognizable actor to space fans. Yeah. Vincent Gale, who we saw in Stargate Universe as Morrison. Oh, I hated Morrison. All Great the actor. Uh, frustrating character. <laughs> it was also in Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. I think the character's name was Laird. He got whacked in the head by Tom Zarek. He's been in tons Till. of sci-fi series out of the I just think it's neat that whenever he's in Sanctuary, half the time he's shirtless. You know, that's <laughs> an interesting gig. And half the time time invisible. Yeah. Uh, Marianne said, what is the reason for the contraption that keeps James alive? Why did he need it in the first place? And seriously, James and Helen had a thing? Question mark. Ooh, I know. Well, I mean, first off, the thing keeping James alive, Watson, we learned in a previous episode of Sanctuary, when that failed, he died. Right. So it's basically the thing that's allowing him to live for something. And also in this episode, he got shot in the legs. I'm wondering if that inspired his crutches. And also, uh, Helen having a, a thing with James. I mean, she also had a thing with Druid. And of course, Tesla has eyes for Helen. And after seeing her with the red hair, you can't really blame any of these guys. She's a popular gal, and she's been around for a while, right? <laughs> well, we got lots more to talk about with Inner Space Raw, which you can see at spacecast.com immediately following tonight's episode. And while there, why not leave a comment on our blog? Or drop us a tweet, twitter.com slash space channel. Post on our Facebook fan page. Or old-fashioned email, innerspace at spacecast.com. And don't forget, tonight's episode of Sanctuary will be available for your viewing pleasure starting tomorrow at spacecast.com.